how you doing guys today we have a 2019 ford f550 the customer lost the only key so we're gonna create it from scratch let's get started by the way if you like those videos don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see our daily videos i'm gonna use lishi ag101 and i'm gonna pick the lock we have plenty of videos showing how to use lishi and you can check it on our channel i'm gonna fast forward So, um, in a second, the lock will be picked. There you go. So now we can decode the lock. I'm going to use an app called Instacode. It's on my phone. I'm going to go back to the main page. We're going to go to Ford. Um, we're going to look for F-150. And we're going to look with after 2014, which is the high security key. And there is two options, the one with the USA model, that's the one I'm gonna choose. Now, the pins that I have in the door is only starting at the fourth position, so I'm gonna mark the fourth position. And I'm gonna push on the picking tool, um, and it's gonna move one depth in. So whatever it stops, that's the cut, that's the number that we need to put in the software. And I'm gonna do all 10 pins. Well, actually from four to 10. And based on this information, it's gonna give me the cuts for position one, two, and three, which is in the ignition. I'm gonna run the search and it's gonna give me two options, but different code series. And we need the second option, uh, the first option, and we're gonna put it in the machine. So I'm gonna use a switchblade or flip key I'm going to put it in my SEC E9 high security machine, tied it on the clamp. I'm going to go to search. I'm going to go by Instacord, IC card, Instacode card 998, 10 cuts. And I'm going to go to input and I'm going to put all the 10 digit numbers that I got from Instacode. Hit OK and cut. I'm going to speed it up. And that's it. It's going to start cutting. We'll go get back when it finish. We'll clean it up and now we're going to flip it to the other side and we need to cut the other side of the blade. So we're just going to tie it back up and we're just going to hit second cut. After it finished cutting, we're going to clean up all the metal shavings out of the key and the clamp and we're going to go and test it in the truck. So it works very nice and easy on the door. Uh, obviously it's going to turn the ignition, but we cannot um, start the car yet because we need to program the key. Now there is a few errors that I'm going to demonstrate here. I could cut it on the video, but I want you to learn from my mistakes so you will know how to save time in the future the first thing is don't put anything on the on the seat uh, because it have a sensor and it recognizes it and it's going to trigger the alarm i'm going to use im100 and i'm going to go to ford i'm going to go to automatic selection the ignition is already on on position i'm going to read the vin number i'm going to hit ok the alarm by the way is beeping in the background the entire process needs to be on the floor, not, not on the seat, the driver's seat. We're going to hit yes to make sure that everything is correct. This is a 2019. We're going to go to control unit. We're going to go to immobilizer, immobilizer, remote control learning, number of keys just to see that we have connection and it tells us how many keys there is two. We're going to have to erase them. So we're going to do all keys lost and put the key on on position the key is already on on position is the alarm active yeah there is an alarm and it tells you to open the driver door but close it with a screwdriver so i'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to take a flathead and we're going to go to the driver door and we're going to push two notches like the door is closed and we're going to hit okay 
now it tells us to wait about 10 minutes i know that it's not going to work because i pick up the phone and i picked up the screwdriver and this messes it up because the alarm started again so we'll have to count it again so we're waiting 10 minutes anyways i didn't know this time and at the end it didn't do nothing so i'm gonna start again i just put it on the floor and i'm gonna do all keys lost turn the ignition on alarm is active now this is what you want to see data is uh, restoring please wait about 10 to 15 minutes if you see that that's going to catch after 10 minutes the alarm is going to come off and it's going to tell you to wait between approximately 10 minutes now we're going to wait the 10 minutes after the uh, the 10 minutes is over we're going to hear a beep i'm sorry for this menu that just showed up because i heard the beep i press ok tells me do you want to clear all the keys you need to have two keys I said yes look in the background it's erasing the keys and I'm gonna hit I, I can't close this menu so we're gonna look in the background okay turn the ignition off so I'm going to turn the ignition off without removing the key and I'm gonna hit ok insert a key to be learned and turn the ignition on so I'm gonna put it on on and I'm gonna hit ok learning the key Now it's going to show me that there is one key in the memory that's because we deleted the two before so we were at zero and now we are at one uh, that's very annoying this menu so we'll have to figure that out first and that's it he asked me if i want to uh, learn the next key i'm going to say no just to show you that with one key in the memory uh, it's not going to start the car but this key is already programmed because if I take it out of the ignition I'm going to show you that the buttons are working so that means I can disable the alarm I can lock and unlock let's show it on the door we can lock and unlock but we cannot start the car because Ford must have two written keys in the memory of the car otherwise it's not going to start and on the newer models even though that the remote works uh, the newer models will show you on the dashboard that there is not enough keys so if i turn it to the on position and we're going to look on the dashboard in a second and i'll show you how does the warning look like going to say number of keys in my machine is going to say one and we're going to look on the dashboard and it says not enough keys learned so we need to add another key so I took a 128 bit 128 bit chip H94 and I'm going to put it in the in the ignition I'm going to do add key it tells me that if there is an alarm it's going to take a while but we don't have an alarm Tell me to put the key to be learned into the ignition. I'm going to put it on on position. It's going to go to the security access. And as soon as it finished, we're going to hear the click. The click. And as soon as we hear that, we have two keys in the memory. Learning successful. Do you want to program another key? No. And that's it. Now if we're going to take the key out and we're going to test both of them. So I'm going to put this key that locks and unlocks no problem and now this will start the car and it's going to sound like that this will work so again that the second key as well should work just fine let's try it out Voila. thank you very much for watching if you like the video uh, put a thumbs up and ask me any questions in the comments below and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you again for watching i really appreciate it